name is Taylor Michael Burke. I'm a freelance outdoor adventure travel photographer and I live in Vancouver, BC. I'm originally from Edmonton, Alberta. I moved to the West Coast about two years ago. I, I grew up in the city. I was like a city boy. Um, so it wasn't until I turned 18, I went on a, a solo year in Australia um, and then half a year in New Zealand. And it wasn't until there that I realized how much I enjoyed being outdoors and getting outside and camping and hiking and just always trying new things. And uh, from there, that's where my photography kind of picked up. I th I'd say I like to spend most of my time in the mountains. So that's kind of what I like to shoot the most. And I've been trying to incorporate more of a, like a environmental conservation aspect to my work because the more I spend in these places, the more, you know, I care about them, I learn about them and I want them to, you know, remain protected or people just kind of understand a bit more about them. So. I'm trying to, you know, incorporate more of that into my work. Um, yeah, I think with photography, it's helped me notice just beautiful little moments or the little things that aren't the bigger picture. Uh, right now, I'm shooting with a Canon 5D Mark IV. Um, I have a 16 to 35, 24 to 70, 7200, um, and a 35 Prime. Oftentimes, my my um, gear gets pretty beat up, and the Mark IV is pretty tough. It's pretty rugged, pretty strong. Um, weather sealed, um, you got, even got the touch screen in there. It can take a beating and <laughs> yeah, I don't have to worry about it too much. I never set out to be a person of influence or anything like that. It just kind of happens. You, For me, I gained a bunch of followers and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, people are paying attention, people are listening, people, you know, there's things going on. So it's kind of take a step back and realize, you know, what do I want to put out there? Do I want to you know, have a message, do I want to have some sort of voice and I think for me it's just making sure that um, if people are going to look at my photos they might want to travel there, make sure that I'm setting a good example, I'm not doing anything that I shouldn't be or you know camping too close to the water or um, camping in a national park or anywhere that you're not supposed to be or you know just paying attention to the rules and you know setting that example. How can I use that impact for good? You know, can I maybe promote something that Maybe people didn't know about that might make a difference or help or get people interested. Um, growing up in Alberta and the winters there can be pretty, uh, pretty, pretty chilly. So I mean, there's been lots of times where you stay out all night, you know, minus 40 Celsius, just out shooting stars, freezing your butt off. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's totally worth it when you when you get the results back that you want. So with YouTube or any other you know, resources that you have, you can learn a lot of the fundamentals. And I think the best way to learn is just to get out there and shoot and practice and shoot and practice. Is, and that's what I, what I was doing. I was shooting any opportunity I can. But with all that, what I've learned the most is with photography and running a business is that you now are a business owner as well. So I think if I were to go back, I would spend a lot more time learning more about the business side of things. You know, I was a plumber <laughs> a couple of years ago and I was kind of set out to be in the trades. You know, with photography, it just happened to click and I was able to continually get jobs and be able to support myself that way, so. Yeah, I'm very fortunate to have grown up and lived in Canada my whole life. Um, it's such a big country. I mean, it's like a heaven. Uh, you got the Rocky Mountains, you got the Coast Mountains, you got the prairies, you got the rolling hills. There's so much to explore. There's so much to see. A lot of people seem to kind of have this idea of Canada, you know, Moraine Lake or the Banff, um, which is beautiful and, you know, I go there quite a bit, but there's so much more out there. There's so much that just gets overlooked and people don't make the effort to kind of go see. So having all that so close, um, but still spread out, gets me excited.